In space, no one can hear you scream, but they might hear you watching The Martian. Real-life NASA astronauts Scott Kelly and Chell Lindgren were recently treated to a screening of the new Ridley Scott film aboard the International Space Station. Since the film won't be released on Earth until this Friday, they were pretty lucky to get an early copy. Kelly and Lindgren happen to be doing research that will be used during a real-life mission to Mars in the next few decades, and the filmmakers worked with NASA to help ensure the realism depicted on screen. We'll have a closer behind-the-scenes look at The Martian after the rundown. In your face, Neil Armstrong. Head over to a less realistic sci-fi universe. The new game, Star Wars Battlefront, looks like a force to be reckoned with. EA has confirmed that the game will have its own dedicated servers, which means the gameplay will be much more smooth than if players were forced to share servers with other online games. Hardcore gamers tend to get very annoyed when an online game doesn't have its own dedicated servers, so fans can breathe a sigh of relief. This comes after the game received some criticism for only including a handful of maps and modes at launch. Star Wars Battlefront will drop out of hyperspace on November 17th. Here to help me dissect this very spacey rundown is my spacey friend, Marissa Roberto. I feel like the spacey one today. I think jet lag's affecting me. <laughs> All right, let's talk about uh, Battlefront. Well, I can only speak from my experience of the game. I played with a bunch of people at once, mm -hmm. uh, one of them being Jose, who totally kicked my butt. Yes. I Jose the not, Annihilator. Honestly, I've only played one big multiplayer mission. Yeah. I didn't get a lot of backstory yeah. at all before yeah. I went into it. So uh, we're going to have a lot more hands-on time with it before yep. the game comes out here in Stockholm, in fact. So yeah. uh, no, I, I'm I'm just hoping for the best for this game, that's y all. Yeah, it, it's a little disconcerting to have EA say that uh, we did our research and not enough people care about the single-player stuff. Because that, that can't be right. That cannot be right. Well, what, even, whether it's right or not, it just feels a little sort of offhanded and a little sort of uh, dismissive, you know? Mm -hmm. And it, it feels like uh, this was a chance to kind of stack the deck and give us even more than what we got out of the mm -hmm. pandemic games. But the proof will be in the pudding. Maybe this will end up being one of the best games, if not the best game of 2015. Well, I'm excited as hell to jump in. It looks amazing. Pull back the reins on that one. Well, we'll see. Okay, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We, we will see. We also need to see this Martian. I want to see this movie so bad. I know. I've got, I mean, we're here in uh, Stockholm and we're hearing reports from other reviewers that have seen this thing and yeah. they're flipping out. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels like it's kind of the new Gravity in a way, which was an unbelievable film. Remember that experience uh, in theater? Yeah, well, I just remember in my most recent in the IMAX with Interstellar. That and too. that was unbelievable. So, and you know what? I'm terrified of space. I'm absolutely terrified. And to be alone yeah. in space is just probably the most frightening experience I think anyone could ever have. But so. I think these movies are kind of trying to show us that. They're trying yeah. to give us the cautionary tale, but also uh, give us a very science-based look at how to deal with these unbelievably scary situations. Mm -hmm. But I think somewhere down the line, and it's movies like uh, The Martian that are kind of leading us to this acceptance that, yeah, humans are meant to be traveling through space space. How crazy is that? I don't think we're meant to be, but we're definitely going to We're meant them. to be. Our brains just allow us to build these things. Well, not my brain, but a yeah. rocket scientist's brain has allowed us to travel and do these things. But no, humans are not supposed to. This is why we have gravity. No, we're pulled I, down to the earth. I think we're supposed to go, but it's, it is certainly not Get without back. its it's dangerous. It is very, It is very scary, as our <laughs> behind-the-scenes look at The Martian proves. The Rundown is brought to you by EB Games.